The fiance of catfish creator Neve Schumann posted an Instagram of herself breastfeeding along with a post warning new moms that breastfeeding is not easy, it's hard. She admitted no one told her just how hard and painful and difficult it can be, and she urged people who want to breastfeed to educate themselves about it beforehand. And I think this is a, a, a good thing for moms to hear. I know you've talked about this. Yeah, um, I struggled a lot. I think even knowing, I knew a lot about breastfeeding, and it still caught me off guard what was involved. I think when your world's turned upside down in a good way, it's a blessing, it was a gift, but you don't recognize anything and you're hormonal. And for me, I was kind of in a really dark place and I didn't then know that in addition to the physical discomfort of breastfeeding in the beginning, there was also this, I, I needed to find Sarah, who wasn't mom, but just right. the Sarah, right. something familiar to latch onto to help me get to my new normal. Right. And I was bound to a couch with a baby, and I didn't know I wasn't enjoying it. And yeah. I remember saying that everyone's telling me this is a gift and this is beautiful, and I'm really hurting inside, and I don't know what to do. Yeah. Well, I, th I felt like I was doing it for the baby, not really for me, because I read somewhere that you know the child gets your antibodies when you breastfeed, mm -hmm. and I thought, well, good, she's not going to get sick from me. I've gotten many colds from her over the years, but she never <laughs> got them from me. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the benefits of breastfeeding. Plus, there's an intimacy and a closeness. Right, and, but if you can't. But if you it. can't do it, then you have yeah, a problem. No, I, it was hard for me, too, but I plowed through, and it was difficult. Could, that there could be a struggle. I remember the, with Natasha, when I breastfed her, <coughs> I could only have get milk out of one side and not the other. And I'm like, what do you, that's not supposed to happen. And But I met with a lactation consultant, and they helped guide me through things. Yeah. But sometimes I, I didn't even know a lactation consultant existed. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then a friend told me, but it took a while. It took several weeks yeah. to get through it. See, my mom was a, was a baby uh, nurse. And oh. I said, I can't get this. To, I can't do this. Mm -hmm. And she said, well, then that's OK. We have other ways. You can feed the yeah. baby other ways. Right. And that's important for moms to know. Not everybody can breastfeed. Yeah. And mm -hmm. if someone is telling you that you're not doing it right or it's, or, and it's wrong for you, you're allowed to say, then I'm going to find a different way. I need to help finding a different way. You do the best you can. And no one should be pushing new mothers because, you know, they're trying to do the best they can. You can't push them and, and make it harder than it already is. It's just wrong. And, and La Leche, I know how y'all are. <laughs> <laughs> But this is, the, this is the reality. Not everyone can do it, and it's not fair to make them feel bad if they can. Yeah. No, but well, I, I would say on the other side a little bit that sometimes it's difficult, but you can push through it sometimes. Some people can, and get, not yeah. everybody, Well, Joy. if it's really yeah, killing you, No, no, but not everybody can, and, and yeah. everybody should know that it's their you right. You feel like less yeah. of a mother. Yes. And that's the thing yeah. is I heard from a lot of yeah. people after we talked about it once saying you're no less of a mother, and I think I'd want to say you're not alone, yes. and you're no, a fed baby is yes. the best type of baby. Yes. Yeah. The other the thing is, the conversations about public breastfeeding, now I look at them totally differently. People talk about where you can breastfeed. I say you, you applaud and congratulate the woman that pulls that off because I struggled doing it in public when you don't have a pillow and you can't cover yourself. And I cried and cried. Yeah. So it locked me to my apartment on another level. Right. I could never get out. So I think that a lot of people don't know that. Yeah. Sometimes your children decide for you, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. With Max, I went, oh, I'm going the whole year, leaving longer. I right. loved it. And at six months, he was like, no. Nope, I don't want it from you anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Some people was, do it so many years, the kid is ready to take the SAT. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're like 10 years old. And my it's uncle really Ralph, out. my uncle Ralph, you know, the Italians yeah. all did it. And my <laughs> uncle Ralph, when he was like five years old, my, they used to tell the story, he'd be following my grandmother around going, latte, la like double latte, you know? <laughs> like he's at Starbucks or right. something because he spoke Italian. <laughs> latte, mama. Uh, Double latte. When they yeah. can ask for it <laughs> yeah. verbally, yeah. might have gone too long. Place again. <laughs>